Hi YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel. Oh, I'm giving you guys a big, big hug. How is your day going? What do you have going on today? What brought you to this video? I'm curious, are you an OG subscriber and were you just like, oh, Julia put out a new video, let me watch it. Or did you search for Pixie's new launch? How, how did you find me? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, um, let me just get right into the video. Today, we are going to be testing out some new Pixi Beauty products. I am so excited. When I got this package, you guys, I was like, oh. But anyways, so Pixi has launched some really beautiful new palettes. I am so excited. This is what they look like. And all of them are in collaboration. Sorry, you guys got a mean glare going on, but we'll look at them individually. But they all are in curation with other influencers, which is really cool. I love that Pixie does that. So we are going to be testing out all of these palettes. So we have a couple different ones. We have the Pixie Plus Promise palette. This is called the Shape Shifter palette. And it is a gorgeous highlight and contouring palette. Oh my gosh, look at that. So pretty. Then we have the Mind Your Own Glow Pixie X Makeup by Denise palette. So this is an all highlighting palette, which is really, really pretty. Let me get this open for you guys. Look at that. So pretty. So I think today I'm going to go for like a summer glowy makeup look with these while we test them out. We're going to see how they work. I'm going to tell you guys what I think. So I do want to say that just because Pixie sends me these does not mean that I'm going to be biased on the review. If something is not my cup of tea, I'm going to let you guys know simply because if I wouldn't recommend something, I don't want you to spend your money on it, you know? Like everybody works really hard for their money and I wanna recommend things that you're gonna be happy to spend your money on, you know what I mean? So this next palette is Pixie X Louise Rowe. So this is the Cream Rouge palette, which this one I'm really excited about. So you can use this as cream blush, you can use it as lip products. I'm super, super excited to try this one out. And last but not least, we have Tones and Textures Pixie X Tina Young. This is an eyeshadow palette. And you guys, it is gorgeous. You literally have everything you need in one palette, which I can get this open. You have a pop of color. You have some smoky tones. You have some really pretty neutral mauve tones. You have some shimmers mixed in there. Oh, I can't wait to see what I'm going to come up with with this. Mm, so pretty. All right, let me get a little more up close and personal with you guys. So overall, Pixie as a brand, I honestly love them. They are one of my favorite brands. Their skincare is amazing. I've done a couple reviews on their skincare line. And while technically they are drugstore, I think, like they sell Pixie products in Target and things like that, they are kind of a pricier Drugstore, like for example, all of these palettes are around $18 to $22, I think, um, which isn't bad. Again, and for all the products that you get, it's actually a pretty good price. And the quality, you guys, that's the main bang for your buck, is you're getting high-end quality for a cheaper price. And I stand by that by their skincare as well. Their skincare is like high quality, high end material, but you don't have to pay that crazy high end price. Also, my staple palette is their summer glow palette like this. Actually, me and my best friend Kendra, K-Dog, if you're watching this, I love you. But this is our go-to palette. She actually used mine and she's like, I have to buy it. It's amazing. And so this one is actually my everyday palette. I have it in my makeup bag here. So that just gives you a little bit of background on Pixi. Before I go in with the powder products, let's pull out the Cream Rouge palette first. I'm so excited. What color am I gonna use, you guys? I'm so torn. Oh, look at it. There's so many different ones. Hmm, this one's kind of pretty for a blush. I think I'm gonna use this one. So first, I'm just gonna go ahead and try it out with my fingers. And it's a really nice consistency. 
and I'm just going to dab oh man I hope that wasn't too much I'm going to dab that on my cheeks and I'm just going to rub that in oh my gosh you guys it blends so nicely so pretty oh my goodness wow that gives such a pretty blush look look at that I'm going to do the same over here. And I'm just doing kind of a combo of rubbing and tapping. Holy cow, that is so pretty. I am going to dab a little bit across my nose, just a little bit. I've been noticing people doing that lately, like putting blush on their nose. And at first I was like, what are you doing? And now I'm kind of like, mm, it does kind of give you that cute sun kiss look. So I'm going to do that. Maybe bring it a little bit this way. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I love that. It is so pretty. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go ahead, since I have this palette out, I am going to do my lips. <laughs> Pregnancy has really made me salivate a lot. So excuse me if I'm over here like <laughs> slurping. <laughs> so for lips, I think oh, I'm torn. Which one should I do, you guys? You guys know me. I'm more of a natural girl. I'm kind of looking at this color here. Maybe this one. Hmm. You know what? Let's go with this guy here. Oh, cool. And that's really neat. They have names on the back. So for blush, I went in with Pretty in Pink. That was this color here. And now I'm going in with this shade here, which is called Gentle. So I just have a little uh, brush here. I, I might use my fingers, but I'm going to try with the blush. <laughs> I'm going to try with the brush first. So it's just this little, um, it's really small. It's an old BH Cosmetics brush, but any little brush will do. Hopefully, let's see. Ooh, that is so pretty. <sighs> That's like right up my alley. Like I live for these light neutrals. Oh gosh, I love it. And it's really smooth too. The formula is buttery. And this brush is actually working pretty well. Wow, that just goes on so nicely, you guys. I love the color too. That is like the most beautiful neutral nude shade for me. And that's what I like about this is even if you're a darker skin tone, they're going to have your nude shade in here. If you want to go out, if you want to pop a pink, you have those as well. There's just such a wide variety of shades in here, which is that's kind of how all of their palettes are. So this will work for a wide range of people, which I love. First impressions of the Cream Rouge palette. I love it. I'm going to be picking this up a lot more. I really love that blush. Cream blush, like I said, is really in right now. So if you're looking for a palette, if you're not sure what color you should use, if you like to play around with color, you would really, really like this palette. So let's go ahead and bronze up our face. I'm going to pull out the Shape Shifter palette. And I actually did not set my under eyes, so I am going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and use the lighter shade and see how that looks. This is the shade Yak. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Y-A-K. Okay. Ooh. That is nice. Ooh, that's really nice. It gives like just the right amount of coverage without being cakey. Ooh, I really like that a lot. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, 
Ooh, that is really nice, you guys. So this is an amazing setting powder. This kind of reminds me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills sculpting palette. But it actually has more shade options, which is nice. And I don't think it's as expensive. You get more for your buck and it's less cash on your end. So now let me get out a brush. What color should I start with? I think I'm going to contour a little bit with this cooler shade here. So I'm just taking my Luxie 522. It's actually a tapered highlighter brush, but I like to use it for bronzing. So I'm just going to carve out my cheeks just a little bit to put a little shadow under there. This is also going to hide the double chin. So a little tip. When you want to carve and sculpt, you want to use kind of cooler tones so that way it looks more like natural shadows. But if you want to bronze and kind of brighten your face, you want to use more warmer tones like this guy here. And again, they have a lot of darker shades. So if you're somebody who you really like to cut and contour, they have those darker shades for you. If you have a darker skin complexion, they have your shade here, which is really, really nice. I love that. And again, another little trick is this will hide a double chin. <laughs> Sculpt out that jawline. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this shade here. This one is called Karma. This is a really pretty bronzing shade. So this one, I'm just going to kind of go more broadly and get even on the inner corner, kind of bring it in this way too a little bit. The formula is really smooth, I've noticed. It's not the most pigmented palette, but that kind of works, especially if you're a beginner, if you don't wear a lot of makeup. I think that's why they have those darker shades in there too. So if you want that oomph, you can add it. And they are matte, which I like. The only shimmer shades are these two here. This guy here and this one here. Let's hide that five head. <laughs> I feel pretty, oh so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and gay. And I pity any girl who does not feel like me. La 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 la. I feel charming, oh so charming. <laughs> Anger management fans, Adam Sandler fans out there, sound off in the comments. <laughs> and you know what, just for fun, I'm curious, I'm gonna tap into this shade right here, like barely tap and see what we get. Oh yeah, see, that's nice that it's buildable. I love that. Okay, we are bronzed and beautiful. If we didn't have the highlighting palette, I would go in over top with this really pretty shimmery shade. It's called Rupees, and I would go over top because I love a really shimmery, glowy look. I just feel like it gives a more youthful appearance, especially at summertime, so, excuse me. Normally, I would go in with that, and then I would try that out as a highlighter. However, I want to use this puppy, so... I don't know. I kind of do want to use this middle. You know what? Screw it. We're going to use the middle shade. So I'm going to put a little bit and just kind of go over the top of all of that area. Ooh, so pretty. That gives a really pretty sheen. So as you can see, it just kind of gives a little something extra to the look. I really, really like this shade and it's very subtle. It's not glittery. It's not super shimmery like a highlight. It just gives you enough to add some dimension to your face. 
Now again, if I didn't have that highlighter palette, this would be a really pretty highlighter. It does look like a natural highlighter. Ooh, actually that is really pretty. Look at that, let me swatch it for you. I'm also gonna swatch this shade as well for you so you guys can see it swatched. Ooh, see, as you can see, it just gives that really pretty shimmery glow. There we go, look at that. Okay, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at that. <gasps> and this guy here. Again, if you're a darker complexion, this would be a beautiful highlight for you. Just gives you kind of a little sheen. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. So overall, this palette here, the Shapeshifter Sculptor Palette, I love it. I really recommend it if you are a one palette type person if you want everything that you need in one palette this is your gal you can also use the brown shades as eyeshadow you can use the shimmer shades to put on your lid this is something kind of like this guy here that you can just throw in your bag and it's an all-in-one literally this is the only palette that i have in my bag i don't have a blush i don't have a highlighter i don't have a bronzer i don't have a contour stick I just have this and this is gonna work exactly like that, if not a little better. As you can see, they have upgraded their shades, which I love. So I think out of all the palettes here, this is the one that you're gonna get the most use out of. It's the most versatile. I love it. Now we're gonna go in with the highlighter palette, which is called the Mind Your Own Glow. And this is with Makeup by Denise. So I want a little shimmery on my blush. So I'm gonna go in, I think I'm gonna use this guy right here. This is the shade Glazed. And again, I'm just using that same tapered highlighter brush and I'm just dipping that in, let's see. And putting that, ooh, so pretty. Oh, that is so pretty. It just gives a really nice glowy touch to your blush. It doesn't add too much color. It adds a little bit, as you can see, but it's not overpowering. Oh my gosh, so pretty. I love it. And what I love too, again, you have some really nice deeper shades right here. You also have, if you're olive toned, you have some golden shades right here. If you're super pale, you have this color as well, which I was debating whether or not to use this one, so you could use that. You know what, let's put a little over top. Ooh, this one is definitely more reflective, but it's so pretty. Okay, so now for the highlighter, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into Lit right here, and oh, that is so so, oh, look at that, you guys. Oh, and this is my bread and butter for a highlight. I don't like glittery. I like that super shimmery wet look. And that is what you're getting with this. Oh my gosh, so pretty. I love it. Look at that. Oh, I can't stop. It's just so pretty. And I want to put a little bit on the tip of the nose. A little bit above the Cupid's bow. So pretty. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my gosh. And so you know what? I kind of want to go in with this shade here, which is high beam. And I just want to see how bright we can get this. Oh, that's gorgeous. So high beam actually has kind of like a yellowy undertone. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I look like I am just glistening from the sun. <laughs> I am going to go ahead and swatch a couple shades for you guys as well. Let's swatch this shade here, which is gold filled. And then I want to swatch this shade here, which is called Aura. Ooh, Aura is so pretty. Look at that bronzy color. <gasps> That is so pretty. I might, uh, do I want to put a little of that over top? No, I'm already shimmery enough. Calm down, Julia. Oh, look at that. 
that would make a beautiful eyeshadow shade. Again, this palette is amazing. If you are a shimmery kind of gal, you can use it for your eyeshadows. I'll swatch two more. I'll swatch Icing, which is this middle shade. And then I'm curious to see how this swatches, which is called Glow On. We'll do those here. Ooh, look at that. <gasps> oh, I'm going to add some of that middle shade. I'm going to add icing. That is just too pretty. <laughs> I'm just like adding and adding and adding. <laughs> I think I'm going a little overboard with the highlighter, but I'm trying to test it out for you guys too. So, <gasps> oh, so pretty. Okay, I love this highlighter palette. Versatile, that's what I would describe these palettes is versatile. So now without further ado, let's go into this eyeshadow palette. Uh, I'm so excited. So my first gut reaction is to go for like a neutral and just use like these pretty shades. But then I'm like, oh, for the sake of the video, should I dip into the blues? Should I dip into that orangey color or the pinky color? <sighs> I'm torn. See, right now is when I wish I was like going live or something so that way I could ask you guys like, what do you want? You know, maybe I will go live on Instagram with this palette. Let me know. I don't know. Let's just start going in and we'll see where we end up. So I'm going to go over the lid with this shade here. It's called Sand and it's kind of just my natural shade color using a Sigma E35 tapered blending brush. I'm actually only going to be using two brushes today to make it simple and easy. I'm going to use this E35 and then this Sigma E39 buff and blend. So those are what I'm going to be using today if you're curious. And I'm just going to go over my whole lid just to give a base to give everything else something to stick to. There is some fallout. There actually is quite a bit of fallout, which I don't really mind too much. We'll see how it works with the darker shades. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this shade, which is called Soft Fade. And I'm just going to put that on my outer corner. I'll be honest, it's not super pigmented. I'm not really getting too much color out of that. This is kind of my everyday look. This is what I would do for an everyday look. It just gives a little dimension to the eyes. It gives a little something, something. But I want to add some more. So let's go for an orangey look today. I'm going to use this shade here, which is called Juicy. Let's see how pigmented this guy is. So that's pretty muted, but it does give a really pretty color. I actually love the color on the eyelid. It wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting a sharper, harsher orange, but this is just like a really pretty neutral orange on the eye. So let's see if we can go ahead and darken up the outer corner. I'm gonna use this shade here, which is called Snug, and I'm gonna pick up that Buff and Blend brush, the E39. And let's see if we can darken up that outer corner. And I'm just gonna bring that in towards the crease as well. That is pretty. I love it. So I will say that the formula is very buttery. As you can see, it blends out really nicely. It's not patchy. It's very flawless. I am going to go ahead and drag some of that shade underneath my lash line here. 
And now I think I am going to choose a shimmer. So in the palette, this shade is a shimmer, 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 shimmer. This is like a semi shimmer. These are shimmers. This one's a semi shimmer. This one is a shimmer. <sighs> what am I going to use? I think I'm going to use this shade here, which is called Gleam. Let's see. That's what it looks like on the finger. And I'm just going to put that in the middle of my eye and bring it kind of in towards the corner. Ooh, this is pretty. You guys, the shimmers are real nice. Ooh, that is so pretty. And then I am gonna take a little bit of this shade here, which is called Thriving. I'm gonna add that to the outer corner a little bit. Ooh, this one's pretty. Okay, so this is what we ended up with. Let me just throw on some lashes and then I will recap this palette. If you're curious, I'm using these Christina lashes, the number 110. So pretty, look at that. My sister turned me on to these, so. Anyway, so let me go put these on and then we'll talk palette. Okay, there we go. So, the Tones and Textures palette. I The formula, like I said, is so buttery. If you have trouble with eyeshadows, you're really gonna like this palette because it's just foolproof, pretty much. If you don't know how to blend, if you're not experienced with blending, the formula does it for you, which is really, really nice. As far as the color payoff, so let me do a couple swatches here. I really wanna swatch this shade. And if you guys want to see more tutorials with this palette, please let me know. Ooh, okay. That's really pigmented. Holy cow. Let's see how it shows up here. There we go. So again, it's kind of a muted color. Let's do this shade right here. Kind of that lighter blue. Ooh, that's really pretty. And it does show up again kind of muted so i'll swatch that orange shade that i used that's what it looks like on the finger and then there we go so if you can see the quality is really nice it's not patchy it's nice and solid but it is a muted shade it's not the most pigmented palette is this the best eyeshadow palette out there probably not if you're looking for those bright, vibrant colors, they're not going to show up how they do in the pan. But if you're looking for a palette that you can play around with color, but not too crazy. So if you need a palette for work, if you need a palette for school, this is a really good palette because you have multiple undertones. You have lots of different shade variations, you know, so that's my thought on this. Overall, the whole collection i am impressed you guys the formulas i really didn't find a formula that was bad quality is there per usual i think my favorites are these guys right here the blush and lip palette and the highlighting and contour palette these are just the most versatile these are you're gonna get the most bang for your buck out of these i just i love them so anyways Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to come by my channel and watch me review these palettes. Let me know what you think down below. Huge thank you to Pixie for sending me some goodies to play with with you guys. If you've gotten to the end of this video and have not liked or subscribed, please go ahead and do that. Or if you didn't like this video, dislikes are totally fine with me. They really help me know what you guys want to see. If you guys are bored with makeup videos, if you guys don't want to see them, go ahead and hit that thumbs down button. If you like this video and you want to see more, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. I'm sending you guys off with a big, 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 warm, tight squeeze, and I will catch you guys in my next video.